muddled up and sort of caught up with all sorts of wrong things, wrong ways. Do you want to have the pure chitter if you're satisfied and by the, the, the Hindu fans? No, we can't call it the pure chitter then, because there are not two chitters. If you have the pure chitter and the defiled chitter, you would have to have two. You can't be like that. The, the defiled chitter is the one that does all the work with the world and sort of messing about, as most people do. But when you when you destroy the kilesis, that chitta goes pure. Right. And it's easy to do the same. Right. That happens. But pure chitta doesn't exist there separately right. at all. When I get close to the theme of Nibbana, uh, it's difficult to it gets difficult to, to work with it because what we're used to is a world where words have logical meaning. set up by Kamnus. It's, it's a sort of uh, vicious circle. So we, we get kilesas, and kilesas, um, uh, because kilesas are there, they give rise to bad Kamnus. Because if they're bad Kamnus, that increases the kilesas. So it's going around all the time. And the, the aim is to break them. So you have a great desire that you're almost battling against your own. Yeah, the, the thing is that you've got to uh, see this. We've all got to try and uh, let go of our attachments. The attachments are the thing that hold us. And the attachments come from wanting. And come out. And those uh, attachments keep, keep going on and on and keep us going. And we see that the, the uh, Nature of feeling is very important. Feeling is a result from karma. Feeling is not karma in itself. It's a result. Pleasant unpleasant. Hmm? Pleasant unpleasant and neutral. You win? Pleasant unpleasant and neutral. Pleasant? Pleasant. Pleasant. Oh, pleasant and unpleasant, yes, yes, yes. Uh, although the feelings are all. They're all in this infinite variety. Yes. But there's those of us who trace the major divisions. 
and feeling very important spiritual results of the past. Uh, but because of that result, when this when unpleasant feeling comes up from bad karma, there is a tendency to react with trying to stop the feeling and turn it into pleasant feeling. But because of that, one, one then has a desire to stop it. So one does things based on greed or hate or delusion. Just trying to stop that feeling. And that that reaction is come That's the come that people make. And that come if they go that way, tends to produce the future situation almost exactly like it came up here. Came up in the first place. In other words, the, 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 the um, feeling arose because of bad karma. What one has often done in the past. And, and the, the karma gives rise to a reaction which makes them do something very similar to what one did in the past. So it's very funny on the often getting worse. Uh, you, you, not to prevent the feeling, no, to prevent that reaction. The reaction is the important. Yes. Mindfulness can, can watch the feeling, be aware, aware of it. It comes rather to uh, what one has to say is one looks inside. When, if for instance a feeling of anger starts to come up, feeling that the look is dry strain, then if one's trained oneself, one has a sort of red flag that comes up inside. It's like a red flag that comes up, warning flag. And then one, one stops and looks at the feeling. But isn't the anger in itself also a negative comma? No, if one looks at the feeling, the feeling's not negative comma, and the, the looking is not negative comma. The anger really only comes about when the reaction takes place. That's the anger. But we call it an angry feeling because it gives rise to that reaction. The feeling's just neutral. It's unpleasant. It's a bit it's neutral in the sense that it doesn't doesn't actually do anything. Uh, if we who react we react to it, we dislike it. Is that why uh, what one person labels as a pleasant 